Here's your WNEM-TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Meg McLeod. Here's a quick look at the stories we're following tonight. Two teens injured in a crash after investigators say a 15-year-old without a license was behind the wheel. The Shiawassee County Sheriff's Office says yesterday afternoon, a Hummer traveling southbound on Shaftsburg Road near Shaftsburg lost control, causing the vehicle to roll. The 15-year-old driver was hospitalized with serious injuries. A 14-year-old passenger suffered minor injuries. The Sheriff's Office says the single single car crash remains under investigation. Those who partake in marijuana in the mitten have a chance to be part of a milestone. High Times will host its largest cannabis cup in state history, and those who can legally use have the chance to judge. 3,500 Michiganders can get a judging kit from participating dispensaries beginning April 15th, just in time for an unofficial holiday. The stores in mid-Michigan selling cannabis cup judging kits are DeCut in Flint, Green Farm in Bay City, House of Dank, and House of Dank in Saginaw and Bay City. Kits include 15 to 50 samples across 21 categories divided by recreational and medical use. They're estimated to cost between $100 and $300. Tickets are available for Flint's first air show in 30 years. The Wings Over Flint Air Show is set to take place June 24th and 25th this year, featuring nationally recognized performers. The event will also spotlight armed forces, veterans, and first responders. Flint Bishop International Airport announced in October the air show would be making its return. Tickets start at $20 and children under five Get in for free. If you'd like to have your ticket early, we have a link in our hot link section on WNEM.com. And now here's Chris with your forecast. Meg, low temperatures tonight will be a lot more chilly. Temps fall to the teens and low 20s tonight. A big difference from where we were last night. And the wind chills will have a chance to be even colder than that, even with a light wind. But tomorrow we should salvage the temperatures with mid to upper 40s for highs and also low 40s in our coolest locations. But even then, much warmer than we were today. Your first alert pinpoint Doppler radar is also dry tonight and should remain that way tomorrow. The cold front passing us by today bringing the snow showers is now well to the east of us and will lead to mostly sunny skies tomorrow with that chance to warm back up. We do expect to stay dry through the daylight period. We'll likely see some cloud cover move back in by tomorrow evening. Eventually some showers will return too, but not until we get closer to around the 10 or 11 o'clock time frame or even after that. They may start as snow at first for some towns, but should change over to rain pretty quickly as we get into Friday morning. We're expecting rain through most of the day Friday, but there will be a few breaks along the way, especially around midday before the next round comes in on Friday evening and will eventually end on Saturday. As far as the severe weather outlook, it's close by, but still to our southwest, and I would expect it to stay there, but we'll still watch it the next couple of days for any changes. As we take a look at the rain predictor, we are at least getting some heavy rainfall, at least a half inch, perhaps over an inch in parts of the area, so we should be able to handle this, but still a decent rain. Your seven day forecast shows Saturday we've got temperatures starting warm and falling through the day. Temperatures on Sunday in the mid 40s and then back up to the 50s by Monday through Wednesday.